So welcome everyone to this edition of AEAPD Online Live. I'm Rob Brookhart and with me today is uh, Deb uh, and she is going to share with us some information about uh, the cyberbullying uh, unit that we have in our K-12 uh, server. So Deb, uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell a little bit about uh, why you created this cyberbullying unit. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Deb Pankus. I work for Keystone AEA1 in Northeast Iowa. I'm based out of Alcatraz. Um, this is my 35th year in education, so um, I've <laughs> kind of been there and done that, it seems like. But I'm really excited to share with you today this um, cyberbullying Moodle module that I created uh, about a year or so ago. I originally created this module as a part, um, as a from some of our one-to-one -one schools, you know, um, more and more school districts in Iowa are going one-to-one, -one, and as a result, there are some issues that are cropping up, and one of them is how to help students really understand and deal with the issues surrounding bullying and cyberbullying, um, especially now that they have access to, to laptops or whatever digital device the schools are using. At the same time, I was also in one of the OLLI classes, so I thought this would be a great time to create my OLLI project and um, also create this Moodle, um, the cyberbullying Moodle module at the same time. So that's kind of how it got started. So it wound up uh, helping you pull together something for your school and also then complete your assignments for the uh, OLLI or online learning for Iowa educators course that you were taking at the same time. Absolutely. So what kinds of things are covered in the cyberbullying unit? Um, well, the cyberbullying unit, it kind of evolved over about a year as I worked on it. Um, and are, are you ready for me to screen share to show some of the pieces? Or yeah. should I, I'll, how about if I give just a quick outline and then we'll go to that in a second. That sounds like you're um, Yep. I um, have some information about what a cyberbully is and what a cyberbully isn't, what are the characteristics of a cyberbullying, reasons for bullying, you know, an opportunity to, to, for kids to really think about what their behavior is doing to other people and why kids uh, may choose this venue when they're using online tools. Um, I also have a section in there about how to respond to a cyberbullying issue and do you know? How, do kids know how to report at their school? Um, that's one of the things that I think is really important. That kids know someone to talk to if they have an issue, and they know how to report. I've included some texting, sexting issues. I've added a bystander uh, section. How kids can. Um, understand what their role is as a bystander and how they can help other kids that they see going through a cyberbullying issue or the, the target of um, some meanness that's happening online. And then finally, there's a digital footprint unit um, or, or section as part of this Moodle. And, you know, if you think about digital footprint, this is really the first generation of kids that we have who their digital footprint, the things that they're putting online when they're in kindergarten and first grade, that stuff is going to be out there forever. We, One of the things I really passionately believe is that as adults, we need to model and really teach kids what their digital footprint is, how to manage it, and how to make it a really positive thing. So I guess that's, that's the basics. So why might people want to consider using this with their students? Uh, um, well, this unit, you know, it has all of these pieces created with lots of information in there already. And teachers can use it any way they want to. They can navigate to the site, just pick out pieces and use it just as is. They could have a copy made of this entire um, Moodle unit and then they can personalize it, they can add to it, they can take things away, they can make it just exactly the way they want it for their students. Um, 
I guess the best thing, it has facilitator notes, it has all kinds of uh, links for activities, as well as just information for kids. So the basics is pretty much, it, it's pretty much fleshed out for teachers to use, and they can just pick and choose and use it any way they want to. It's all ready to go. So it really kind of gives them that advantage of kind of a just add water kind of thing of here's all the parts and uh, you can really just take it and go with it. Absolutely. They can use it as is, like I said, or personal, you know, have their own copy made, personalize it just exactly for their own student needs. So um, why don't you go ahead and show us the unit and kind of highlight some of the key pieces in it? Absolutely. And um, first of all, this first page that you're going to see is the AEA K-12 online homepage. And I'm just going to show you quickly how to navigate this page in order to find the cyberbullying um, unit. So when you, after you create an account or log in, go all the way down to the bottom of the page. And what you're going to do is choose course previews. And once you click there, uh, the first time you're here, you may have to request um, access to this section. Once you do that, go to Other. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Other down here on the left-hand side. And this, just kind of take a look through the list here, and you'll notice the cyberbullying link right here. It's open. Um, once you create an account, it's open to the public and ready to go. So this is... Um, kind of what the unit looks like. I'm just going to go to the introduction page to get started. And you will see it has the learning goals here. The, six, the six success criteria is identified. And you will notice that in gray, there's the instruction facilitator information and then additional feedback for this module. What, when you see any links that are in gray, what that means is that's just for the instructor only. Kids won't have access or see that kind of thing. Now, and um, what we've done is included an instructor facilitator um, link or page for each individual piece of this unit. So you'll see here there's a news forum, there's a lesson on netiquette and, and more information right at the very first introduction page. And what, what I'm going to do is skip over it now and start to kind of highlight some of the things you may be interested in seeing that this uh, Moodle unit has. And I'm going to go over to the top here and click on Welcome to My World so that you can see what is added. Now, I um, have a little video on student digital life, a uh, fantastic um, graphic, infographic on how teens are using um, social media and, and online tools for students to look at. And then down here at the bottom, there's a little icebreaker, a questionnaire, how do students use technology, vote for your favorite tech tool, and then a forum to discuss how, how kids are really using technology. So that is all part of the very first section, the first part of this module. And then I'm going to skip over to the sticks and stones. And at this particular uh, section is an overview of cyberbullying. It identifies what it is. And you'll notice here's, again, the grade instructor facilitator information. There's information then at the bottom here, um, some facts about cyberbullying, a discussion, a choice about reporting, and I think this is a really important one, is to have your students use this, it's just a little poll, and I'm going to just click on it so you can see. Every, I think all schools and teachers just assume that if kids are having an issue with cyberbullying, they're going to know what to do. They're going to know who to talk to. They're going to know how they report at their school. But this is a great way to find out if they really do know how to report. So I think that's an important piece of, of this particular part. Now you'll also notice at the bottom of this unit, there's some text in pink. This is where you may want to personalize this part of um, this Moodle. And it says here, schools should add a link about how to report bullying in your own district. So here is where you can add an, your own information about how your particular district wants students to report a bullying or cyberbullying incident. 
Okay, I'm going to quickly skip on to the next um, section, identifying cyberbullying tactics. And again, um, I think this is a good one. I, I One of the reasons that I added the information about this particular, in this particular part of the Moodle module is a few years ago I was working with a student group and we were talking about cyberbullying and what it is and what it isn't. And one of the kids in the group, it was a middle school group, one of the kids in the group said, wow, I'm the cyberbully. So I don't know that he had ever had a chance to talk about what bullying is. It was really um, kind of an eye-opening moment, and what was also interesting is the other kids in the class then said, yes, you are, <laughs> and it really opened up some discussion. I think that's part of how this unit can be used. It can be used face-to-face -face with kids. Um, the teacher uh, has the um, is projecting up on, on the um, whiteboard, and then students can use the uh, individual pieces as homework or they could use it, you know, if they have a one-to-one -one device right there. But I think the main power in this unit is then looking at the individual pieces and then having the discussion with students and really talking and, and getting in depth about what are the issues and, and how do we deal with it. So it can be used not only as a total online course, but it can also be used in blended learning as well. Absolutely, absolutely. It can be used in whatever way works best for the particular teacher. And even though I designed this for schools that are one-to-one, -one, it doesn't have to be used that way. It, you know, it can be used in whatever way it works best. Um, so, yeah, great questions. So I'm, I'm going to move on to the next um, portion, the number four. Houston, we have a problem, and this is how to respond. And there are some cyberbullying scenarios that I included here where kids decide, is this actually a cyberbullying incident? And if it is, how do I respond to it? So um, I think that's a good piece. Um, and then there's information about addressing and understanding online cruelty, again, how to report and, and responding. Now, um, when I created this module, it was intended to be used in grades 6 through 12. And part of the reason I'm bringing this up is um, I'm now on section 5, text unto others as you would have them text unto you. And that's basically dealing with texting and sexting issues. This section, I think teachers need to um, think about their own student population and what is appropriate, what you want to talk to them about this issue because it can be a little bit touchy, especially when we start dealing about sexting issues. And I'm going to um, show you some pieces at the bottom in a second, but in this case I'm going to click on the, the instructor and facilitator information because there's a great idea in here that um, one of our co uh, guidance counselors in AEA1 uh, used prior to going to this particular part of the Moodle module. So. Um, this one is, is about learning about texting and sexting, and I'm just going to scroll down a little bit to where it says consider this activity. What this particular guidance counselor did was she um, asked a couple of students who were in the group that she was going to work with to text a couple of other classmates with the message that just says, pass this text on to everybody you know as quickly as possible. And then... Um, when they came into class, she said to the kids, well, how many of you got that text? And what time was the text originally sent? And to how many people it went to? And how many that how many received it? And it she said it was a really powerful way to show kids that when you send a text, whether it's appropriate or inappropriate, it can be spread everywhere in the entire school within just a matter of minutes. So that was a really good activity as kind of um, a prep for this particular part of the unit. And then this video, Your Photo Fate, I don't know if you've ever seen this video, but this is 
really, really a good one for kids um, that explains kind of how sexting happens, decisions that are made, and once those decisions are made, the photo that you sent on is now out of your hands and it can be spread to the entire school really quickly. So this is a really good video. Again, I think um, you need to know your students and know what is appropriate to show whatever group you're showing, you're, go you're going to use this with. Then there's a little um, section on digital drama that I'm going to mention at the bottom. You see that there is a grayed out section. Um, and that is, uh, I, there's some information in that particular section that talks about a student. It was a, a young man named Philip, Philip Alpert. He was a high school student in Florida. A couple of years ago, he sent out uh, a nude photo that his girlfriend had sent him and his, her parents got involved as a result he is now um, a convicted sex offender and the video explains the situation how it happened and now what has happened to his life as a result so this is a section that you might want to you know again know your students and know what will be appropriate for the student group that you're working with um, so I'm going to just go on and show uh, two more sections in this um, little um, module, and then we're going to wrap it up. You know, the bystander section, that's number six, um, I think, you know, kids see what's going on with other kids, but they don't always know how to stop the bullying or cyberbullying from happening and what to do. And I just want to point out in this section, it's the activating bystanders power assignment. In this particular section, it, um, it it's a, intended to be a pair-share activity, so kids read it, pair up with someone, and share their thoughts. There are different scenarios, and it gives ideas for what to do in that particular scenario, how you could say, you know, if something's happening, what you could say. You could say, that's bullying, that's mean, you know, I think that should stop. And then there are a few videos, two videos at the bottom that kids watch and respond to, what would they do if they're in that situation? So I think this is a really powerful piece, that activating bystander powers a assignment and then just going to go on to digital footprint um, like I said before more and more uh, digital footprint is really going to be critical in the lives of our students sometimes it's going to determine whether they get that scholarship or not or whether they get that job and I think we need to as teachers we need to explain it we need to model it. We need to talk about it frequently so kids really understand. So there's some information here and then a final little video to watch in a forum. How do you want to be remembered? And I think, that, you know, there's a, another um, two more sections. There's a final assignment option, ideas for if you want to have a culminating assignment for kids. And then the, there are, there's a, an additional cyberbullying resource list that, you know, maybe you have some specific things you want your own students to go to, you could add to this piece as well. And that's pretty much it. I, I'm hoping that a lot of people will say, wow, this is fantastic. I want to use this with my students. And really, this is, if there's parts that you want to use or parts that you want to change, it's totally up to your district or your classroom how you want to use it and how you uh, how you use it in the classroom. So um, while you've got a lot of resources there, people can add to it, uh, adjust it just as they need to fit their own needs, correct? Absolutely. That's what it was created for. So how has some districts that you've been working with used this? Um, so the districts that I've been working with, some of them have just gone to this link, picked out various pieces, and um, showed whatever piece they want to, just put it on the big screen, and then had worked with students in, in small groups. You know, I have had some guidance counselors use it. I've had some digital citizenship teachers using it, some tech teachers. Um, so they've used it that way. Some of them have, without even making a copy, they just find the piece they want, they show it to their students, they have the discussion face-to-face. -face. Other teachers have made copies and personalized it. A couple of schools have used it during their advisee advi 
advisor advisee time um, and what they would do is all the teachers in the school all the kids would meet at the same time so the teachers would decide as a group we're going to use this piece today this is how we're going to use it and this is how, what we're going to discuss so that all the kids in the school are getting the same information at the same time so really it's used a lot of different ways just whatever works for your students your school and and your setup so let's talk a little bit about how teachers can access this with their students. And one way that teachers can access this is through our AAPD online, uh, our AA K-12 online actually server, um, which has our e-curriculum. And you showed us when we started how to find it and look at it. If teachers want to use that, uh, we do Moodle hosting for all schools in the state of Iowa for free. So there's no charge to use this. And we will, uh, all you have to do is make a request and we will create the Moodle link for you. Um, there's things on here that you can go to and uh, once you log in, you can uh, open uh, different parts if you know that you want to use those with your students as well. Um, we also have the ability to copy if you're doing Moodle hosting in your own district. Uh, you can have us download this and you can upload it to your Moodle server that you're using in your district. So there's numerous ways that you can uh, go about uh, accessing this. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact us here at AEAPD Online uh, just by emailing us at info at AEAPDonline.org. Um, Sounds fantastic. Deb, what might be some additional resources that people might want to look for or some things that you've found helpful as you were building this information for students? Well, I am going to just go ahead and click on the AEA1 website, and that website is www.aea1.k12.ia.us. Under School Technology, I'm going to go down here to Digital Citizenship and Cyberbullying. There are lots of resources here, but one of the main resources that I used is Common Sense Media. Common Sense Media has a free K-12 curriculum um, that you can use for ideas. You can print off. It has videos. It has additional resources. And if you go to this link under the resources, you'll see I have a lot of other uh, resources linked here as well for K-12, not just 6 through 12. All right. Well, thank you, Deb, for uh, sharing your unit with us and sharing uh, with us how we can access this and use it with our classrooms. Again, if people have questions, they can contact us here at AEAPD Online by emailing us at info at AEAPDonline.org.